Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Criminals seeking new sources of revenue, the motel, prosperous and often isolated, presents an inviting target. As a prelude to crime, early one Saturday morning, Karen Edwards checked out of a plush motel and headed for a nearby rendezvous. Practically all the 65 cabins are rented. A lot of people are in for the whole weekend with payment in advance. Should be a good take. Who's in charge of the place? There's a manager on duty, a square. He won't give you any trouble. Where do they keep the dough? There's a cash drawer in the main office. Let's get the setup. Fine. Your little sister's okay, John. You were careful, Karen, honey, weren't you? I'm always careful. Here's your next job, Karen. It's for tomorrow. Monticello. The route's marked. 30 miles across to the next main highway, Route 12, then left three miles. Hope it's as plush as the last place. It should be. We'll contact you there. Watch yourself, Karen. Forget about that thing. You're no cheap hood. Maybe not. But if I have to, I can squeeze a trigger just as well as the next guy. They're having a big weekend, all right. available for my wife and me. You bet. Just had a check out. Best cabin we got right up near the swimming pool. Dining room will be serving breakfast in an hour. I'd like to see the room first, dear. I'm tired, honey. Oh, you know how restless I get when the room isn't right. Never had a complaint yet, ma'am, but I'll be glad to show you. I'll leave it up to my wife. She's the boss. Well, they always are. That swimming pool's a big attraction. Nice, but there's a garden just outside the window. 
my allergies. But just for one night. Oh, you know my sneezes, dear. They're worse than your snores. Wish I had another cabin, but we're full. Don't complain. business slow, it was over an hour before the manager discovered the robbery and notified the authorities. Since this was the latest in a whole series of such crimes, the head of the highway patrol was immediately informed. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Within minutes after the alarm was received, he arrived at the victimized motel. excuse dirty sneak thieves they're not sneak thieves they pulled the same job 15 or 20 times they take his finger to run thirty thousand dollars thirty thousand yeah they got seventeen hundred last week what they take you for over eighteen hundred they hit me just right yeah they always do i had 65 units rented with plenty of weekend advances as a matter of fact there was only one empty cabin when they showed up what kind of a car were they driving I didn't see it not even when you took his wife to the cabin it wasn't in the driveway it was off to the side somewhere and it didn't bother you well, why should it everything else was normal dear she kept calling him I'd like to have you come down to headquarters. Maybe we can find deer in the mug books. I'd sure like to. Why'd they pick me to rob? You were making money and they know it. No prints ever wiped off. You got the names, license plates? Right. Let's go. Johnson, here's a list of the last motel jobs. Check it against the list you got, see if there are any duplications. Why would they wait a week between jobs? Take advantage of the weekend business. They follow the same pattern, we can expect more jobs. The question is where? No duplication on the list. Might come in handy later, keep it. Right here. Route 12, that's where they pulled the first job. Now over here is 30. This is where they pulled the job today. Now, they got 30 miles in between us in the vacation area. They can crisscross on us. Get all available units up. Have her come from 12 and 30. Wish we had something definite to look for. Maybe tomorrow we will. This is only Saturday. They got the whole weekend to operate. Is everything okay, Karen? Everything, except I hate getting up this early on Sunday morning. The Monticello Motel's a real posh spot. Here's the layout. Be careful of the manager. He's a young guy and he's on the ball. What do you mean? He spotted me hanging around the office and he wanted to know why. Did he suspect anything? I don't know what was going on in his head. Just in his cash draw. It was plenty. Okay. Also, the cabins are pretty close to the office. Once she gets him out, you'll have to work fast. And like I said, this manager's no patsy. He could make things rough for you. Maybe we ought to forget about this one. Why? It sounds tough. You heard her. No tougher than a lot of other jobs we've pulled. Right, Karen? Right. It's good work. Your next stop's the Eagle Motel, back on Route 30. It's the biggest motel in this area. When does this come off? This afternoon. The rendezvous is marked. It'll be our last job in this state, honey. Then we'll take a little rest. Is that right? That's the way it's planned. How come this area is loaded with motels? And with police. A real sweet old-fashioned girl. She's still a kid. 
Sometimes I hate you for dragging her into this. I did her a favor bringing her in with us. If it wasn't for me, she'd be in jail by now. She never did anything wrong before. You're real soft on her. That's your trouble. She's your little sister, so you don't see what kind of a gal she really is. She's as tough as they come. Is that job going to be okay? Your baby sister said so, didn't she? No further developments. 10-4. Ten 10-4. Four. Ten four. Here's the list you wanted. All the motels in the Route 12, Route 30 vacation area. There's a lot of them. Have the boys in the other room call these motels. Same ones in that area, the big ones. Give them the M.O. Maybe we can get the jump on these people. The cabin I have available is up near the end. I'll let my wife decide whether it's suitable. I'll wait here. I'm sure there'll be no trouble. You can sign right in. Excuse me, my phone. Oh, I don't hear anything. Well, I'll be right back. Hey! of the highway patrol were alerted, Dan Matthews arrived at the scene of the latest crime. According to the doctor, he's only got a 50-50 chance. Can we talk to him? Doctor's in there now. He let us know when it's all right. Any witnesses to what happened? None. By the time they found the manager, there was no trace of the people that shot him. Got that list with you? Yeah, right here. You know, it's the first time there's been any rough stuff. This might not be the same outfit. Yeah, I think it is. This time they got caught. Wait a minute. Here's one. License number HDJ300. This license was at the Panorama. It's a different name, though. Now known as Jill Jones. First room to your right. Thanks, Doc. Call headquarters. Have them check license HDJ 300. A 
I'm Matthews Highway Patrol. I hate to bother you at this time, but what about those people that shot you? Was it a man and his wife? A man. What'd they look like? Tall. Nice looking couple. Thirties. Both dark. Did you see the car? No. There was a Jill Jones. She checked out about an hour before the robbery. Can you describe her for me? Pretty. Blonde. Young. Thanks very much. I hope everything's going to be all right. Get this luck from the doc. Send it to ballistics. Anything else? No. Was he able to tell you anything? Yeah. Now we know what we're looking for. 364 to headquarters. Go ahead, 364. Have all units continue patrol, highways 12 and 30. License number of wanted vehicle is Henry David John, 300. Henry David John, 300. Step four. I've got the descriptions. Take over to the lab boys get here. How about you? Well, if the people we're looking for follow the same pattern, they've got to end up on Route 30. What's your route? Route 30, Mill Road and Cutler Corner. Then I'm going to check all the motels. Now, it's only Sunday. They can't get to the bank till Monday. As far as the gang is concerned, they think they're in the clear. your information. What goes on? She's upset. About what? He shot the manager at the Monticello. Killed him? No. He doesn't know. Look, Karen, get back in the car. What did you find out, Karen? Please, Karen, I don't want him to pull his job. He'll be picked up. This is one you can pass up. They've got a big dining room and 78 units. Been mobbed all weekend. I wouldn't be surprised if you hit for three or four thousand. You hear that, Joe? I won't go. Didn't you catch how much dough's at stake? I could make you come with me. It won't work, Bart. Why, but your way. I'll meet the both of you in the city, the colonial restaurant. You can't work alone. I've got a new partner. Bart, you can't. For 4,000 bucks, I can do a lot of things. Please. Come with me. Let him down. It was for his sake. His sake? You're just scared. All right, so I'm scared. But it's not just for me, it's for you, too. And for him. He's likely to kill somebody. That would be tough, wouldn't it? Don't you realize he shot a man? So what? Doesn't that bother you? Nothing bothers me except you. I'm tired of listening to you and Bart argue about pulling jobs. Maybe you are my sister, but he's right and you're always wrong. I didn't realize you... You expect traveling with you and Bart was no finishing school. Just spotted sedan, license number, Henry David Joseph, 300, headed north, Route 30, from Jackson's Bridge. Approach sedan with caution. Call me back right away and give me a description of occupants. I'm heading for Route 30. 10-4.
officer. You ladies, please get out of the car and leave your purses on the seat. Face the fender. Take it easy, will you? Unit 364 to 2150. Description of occupants of wanted vehicle. Two women. One blonde, early 20s. One brunette, tall, about 30. That fits the description we got from the motel manager. See if you can get a line on the man they work with. I'll be hitting Route 30 at Cutler Corner. Keep me posted. 10-4. Turn around. Turn around. Where's the man you've been working with? Why don't you go write a traffic ticket? What's she to you? My sister. Well, she's not doing herself any good. Neither are you. You're the one who travels around with the man, aren't you? Where is he now? If you're taking us in, take us. Look, if he's out pulling another job, he's going to get himself killed. Every motel owner in the area has been tipped off. We know all about you. You're lying. How do you think I got you? Look, you're both wanted for robbery and assault charges. Now, if your boyfriend's out pulling another job, he's going to have to do some shooting. Next thing you know, it'll be a murder rap. Murder? He will kill somebody. I know he will. He's at the Eagle Motel. He's got a gun. Please stop him. Shut up! What kind of car is he driving? A gray convertible. John! License MVP 788. Let's go. Unit 364 to 2150. My 1020 is eight miles south of Eagle Motel. Suspect in motel shooting is headed for Eagle Motel, Route 30, driving gray convertible. License Mary Boston Paul 788, armed and dangerous. Just turned on to Route 30. Unit 364. Keep your position. I'm three miles north of the Eagle Motel. I'm going after suspect. to headquarters. Go ahead, 2150. I'm on Route 30, four miles north of the Eagle Motel. Send out an ambulance and the coroner. 10-4. the highway patrol in action again next week. Until then, remember, leave your blood at the Red Cross, not on the highway. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.